New today, the city of Charleston says it has plans on what to do with a controversial statue in downtown Charleston. This says there are new calls to remove the John C. Calhoun statue from Marion Square. News 2's Riley Benson joins us live from there. Riley, you spoke to city officials along with local activists. Yeah, good evening, Sophia. State Senator Marlon Kemp's and State Representative Wendell Gilliard, other state and local leaders are all calling for the immediate removal of the John C. Calhoun statue here in Marion Square, right behind me, saying it's a symbol of racism and hate. When man builds something up that is wrong, it can come down from the point of justice. Leaders are calling on colleagues at both the state and local levels to have the statue removed immediately, saying a better location for the statue would be at Calhoun's graveside at St. Philip's Church. We call on the mayor, the city council of Charleston, and the South Carolina General Assembly to remove the statue. National Action Network Director Nelson B. Rivers III says the time is now. We don't want any more thoughts. We don't want your prayers. We want action. Shortly after the press conference, Charleston Wine and Food announced they would be joining the movement to have the statue permanently removed from Marion Square. We'll be boycotting the use of the space until it is removed. Um, and additionally, we will, we've put a ban on the use of plantations. Jillian Zettler, the organization's executive director, says Charleston Wine and Food has been looking for ways to enact change in the Charleston community. We have been looking for actionable ways that we as an organization can do better. Leaders say the statue, which is just blocks away from Mother Emanuel, is an insult. And look at the dichotomy of John C. Calhoun overlooking all of that. It never was right. We do reach out to city officials, and I want to read you the statement we got from city spokesperson Jack O'Toole. The following statement says, Mayor Tecklenburg, city council, and city legal staff have been working on the issue for some time and expect to be able to make an announcement of the future of the statue tomorrow. And, of course, when we have that announcement, we will be covering that for you here on News 2. Live in downtown Charleston from Marion Square, Riley Benson, Count on 2.